chances coming up shortly. Some local school districts are struggling to keep their students fed. They've been relying on the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program, but that's now ended. Chris Bryant traveled to Flippin, Arkansas, where the school's food pantry is now closed. For the past three years, the Flippin School District has used funding through the state of Arkansas to help fund a pantry here at the schools. This year, that money is gone. I, I see the, the need. Uh, and I know that the people that are coming through the line every day are, you know, they're going to have to find uh, a different source. I worry for my students, um, you know, that may come to school hungry or, or you know, may, may not get a good meal when they go home. District leaders take pride in helping their community, knowing that for small towns, it takes a village approach when it comes to their children. That's something that we, we worry about a lot and, and we think about and, and we we trained our staff to, to work with our students and that was the, the whole reason for writing the student support grant in the first place because we, we, we saw a need and uh, uh, not only with our kids that might be homeless or um, you know, we saw a need in the community and we wanted to be able to help. Now the food pantry that was once full of food for students is a shell of its former self. Uh, last year we served 189 families, okay. um, about 40 to 90 families a week. Uh, it varied, uh, okay. but uh, on an average throughout the year, it was about 60, it averaged about 60 families a week that would go through the drive through line. The district was able to help families who needed just a little more support. But it, we had some freedoms that maybe the food bank didn't have uh, to serve people that may have, may have been close to that threshold. Yeah. Um, you know, our economy is just in such a way that people have less money in their pockets and people are struggling even though they don't meet the poverty level per se. The district has a student support office on hand to help students and families find resources to help. I reached out to the Arkansas Food Pantry and the Food Bank of North Central Arkansas and they didn't return my request for an interview. And it's important to us to level the playing field for all of our students. It, it's hard to learn if you're hungry and we just want to make sure that we meet those needs and, and level the playing field so that all of our students have the best opportunity to learn. The Flippin School District provides breakfast and lunch to all of their students free of charge and hopes to be able to do more and reopen the food pantry soon. In Flippin, Arkansas, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.